Hey everyone, this is Mallory Carlo with Dallas Sports Fanatic here with Texas Legends Center, Chad Brown. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Doing well. Just, you know, just um, staying, you know, just staying healthy and staying quarantined um, with this, you know, virus that we have going on and, you know, just trying to stay as, as safe as possible. You know, it's just, it's a tragedy, but, um, you know, it's something that, you know, the NBA, NBA and the, G, the NBA G League took into consideration, and um, it, it was the right thing to do, you know. So, just just trying to stay healthy and just trying to take care of me and my family, you know. Right, and you know that's a great way to start this video off because first things first, yeah. how are you maintaining, um, keeping your skills up, and you know keeping that energy going to prepare for whenever the season might come back or you know a whole new season. Right, right. Um, you know, I've been, you know, just home, um, working out still, you know, being able to go to, you know, gyms like my high school gym and being able to train and stuff still and um been doing a lot of in home workouts, um, a lot of um insanity workouts and things like that to keep my cardio up. Um, definitely been um I mean I always been eating really well, but definitely took my diet to a different level. Um, and it's something that will help me even for the future as well. So um, I've been doing that and, you know, just continuing to try to, you know, just stay ready, you know, just stay ready for, you know, the season come back or for next season. So I'm just trying to stay as sharp as I can, but at the same time still trying to, you know, stay healthy and, and follow the rules and the guidelines of the quarantine as well. So We found out, I mean, going on three weeks ago that the season was suspended what was your initial, I guess, thought or feeling of, okay, I might not get to play again? I know it was a lot of, lot of different emotions. Um, just, just having that feeling, like you said, of not being able to play again. Um, it was, it was challenging. Um, you know, it, it was something that was kind of hard for me because, you know, just, just having the interaction with, you know, my teammates, coaching staff, fans, you know, the whole organization. And, and knowing that that might have been the last game that I played for the season um, was it, – it was, like I said, it was, it was, it was a little rough, you know, just, uh, just loving the game, having that passion for it. But uh, like I said, you know, I, I felt like they made the right decision um, because this safety and, and health is, is the number one thing. Um, not only for, you know, players, coaches, but, you know, fans, friends, family as well. You know, we, we interact with so many people in the basketball world. And, you know, you just got to always, you know, keep that health, you know, first thing in mind, you know, because, you know, you can just shake somebody's hand, shake a fan's hand. And if you have it, you know, they have it and it just goes down. So you just have to, you know, they, they I, I believe that they made the right decision. So. Being in Frisco for, I mean, a few months, um, you were just talking about the fan base here, and I might be biased, but the Legends have one of the biggest and best fan base in the right. G League. What was your fondest memory from the season? Um, man, it was, it was definitely a lot of good memories. Um, ooh, that's so hard. I mean, it, I, I can just think of uh, – I don't even think I can put one together. It's it's just been so many good memories uh, from this season. Um, just the legends, they do a great job of of getting everybody together, um, the Frisco community together. Uh, we do so many things out in the Frisco community, um, just interacting with fans and, and people around, you know, the city. And it's just, it's a great organization. So, it's hard to pinpoint one good moment uh, with so many great moments from the season, but um, I can just say overall it was it was it was definitely it was definitely great. You know, just interacting with fans. You know, they come to our games, and you know we you know stuff that we do for them. You know, outside of basketball, it was just it was just great. I love the setup for sure. Yeah, and when it comes to game day, I mean, I feel like the staff goes all out for you. And one of my oh, yeah. favorite parts is getting to see kind of what y'all arrive in, kind of what you're wearing. And I would say you were pretty oh, yeah. known for your outfit choices. 
But yeah, what yeah. you say throughout this season kind of maintained that that drip. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like, you know, uh when when they said that they do that, um, you know, this being my rookie year, uh I, I you know, taking your game from the college level to the professional level, I, I feel like you're a professional with whatever you do. Mm-hmm. And you know, even and when they told us that, you know, we dress up before the games and stuff like that, you know, I took it to, okay, well, I'm I'm dressing up every single game, you yeah, know, and that, that's, yeah, yeah, and that's something that I did, you know, um, just wanted to make sure that I, you know, came in as a professional and I, I leave the gym as a professional, you know, um, and and that's something I did, you know, with my my style. Um, everybody has their own different style, mm-hmm. but you know, my style wasn't hopefully it wasn't too too flashy but you know i always i always wanted to make sure that i did look um you know a certain way when i came in the gym um just knowing that you know i'm ready for i'm ready for action ready for business you know no and i i get that and what i love about the g league is the level of professionalism um essentially right every every player who's in the league is trying to make that next jump that's the goal. Right. So right. what has the G League done for you to prepare you um, for your future in maybe the NBA? Right. Um, you know, it, it prepared me a lot. Um, well, I want to say that, you know, the G League does a great job of um, development. I, and I know, you know, it's, it's a development league, but we really don't talk about the true development of it. And not only just basketball wise too, like of course it helped me out basketball wise. I've learned so much this season. Um things that I can do to continue to get better, continue to, to develop my game in so many ways, but also off the court as well. Um just teaching me on being more of a professional, um, interacting with different people, um just um even adversity, you know, it teaches you how to fight through adversity um, because, you know, the G League is a little different than the NBA uh, with, with traveling wise, you know, that, you know, NBA, they, they travel with private jets and, you know, the G League, you know, they, we have to, you know, stand in lines and things like that. Not saying it's a bad thing, but, you know, it's just, it's different, you know, and yeah. it teaches you to, it teaches you to be grateful for those moments though, you know, it teaches you to be grateful for, you know, be grateful for the G League because, you know, when you, you know, have a chance to get to the NBA, you would be like, man, you know, I really find my way up here. You know, it wasn't just no straight shot. You know, it was a, it was, it was a grind, you know, and you have to embrace that grind. I believe that if you embrace the grind, I feel like your process is, um, it's, it, it makes it easier. You know, I mean, the process is always going to be, you know, difficult and challenging, but if you embrace it, I feel like it's always, you know, it makes your job easy um, and, and fun in the in the same way, you know, just having fun playing the game and embracing the the process that you have um, to to get to the NBA. Right, and you know, having fun within the league is great. But what was your favorite thing to do in Frisco? Maybe a favorite place to eat or hang out um, while you were here those few months? Um. So while I was in Frisco, I want to say the, the funnest place I went. I love going to the um, the Stripes Bowl. Um, I've actually alley. never been. I've never been to Stripes. Oh. Yeah, I've lived here oh, yeah. two years and I've never been. But I mean, main really? event. Oh my! I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's I awesome. can't compete. So, but yeah, all right. awesome. so, Would you say that a uh, bowling game is? Are you pretty good bowling? Uh. I'm all right at it. I'm not going to say I'm the best, and I'm not going to say I'm the worst either. Um, I could definitely say I got better at it as time went along because we, we went there a couple times, so mm-hmm. I definitely could say I improved. Um, I improved as far as, you know, my rotation on the on the spin when I roll it. Uh, just, I mean, pretty much everything, to be honest. When I first did it, I, I was just forcefully just rolling the ball, hopefully – that I hit all the pins down, you know, now I have a little bit of a strategy, you know, so That's I can say I got it. I would say I'm pretty, uh, pretty average. I definitely could make a career out of it. Um, <laughs> but okay. you know, during, during this time of having to stay at home and 
you know, it, it can be a blessing or a curse, however you will look at it. Um, what are you doing to kind of keep yourself busy? Or have you picked up any new hobbies? Or maybe you have a favorite place um, to do with your family? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. Um, so actually, <laughs> it's funny, since I've been home so much, um, I've actually been on TikTok. Oh, they got to you too. No. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, our, our legends people they were so happy when I started getting on it they were like we've been asking you to TikTok forever and I'm like I know but you know when when you're in, when you're in the house for so long it's like okay what new things can I you know learn and what things can I do and you know so I've been doing TikToks um been just you know hanging out with family playing board games card games uh watching Netflix shows and, you know, just trying to, is trying to enjoy the time, uh, really anxious to, to get back on the court. But, you know, since I can't do it right now, I'm trying not to think about it too much. Um, and just, you know, I don't want to just think about it so much where it's overwhelming me that I can't get back on the court. So I've been trying to take this time to enjoy being home a little bit with family and stuff um, because, you know, as the season goes, you know, you you don't even get to see them, you know. You're yeah. just traveling, games, games. So I'm just trying to use this as this time as not only a burden, but it could be an opportunity as well just to, you know, be home with family and, and friends mm -hmm. and, you know, see people that I haven't seen in, in a while. So Right. Wow. You're going to make me download TikTok. I've been so good. I haven't done it. I have tried to stay strong. I've tried to stay strong. So I'm telling you, it is hard. I, I, I didn't think I was going to get into it until I did my first video. Then once I did it, it's just, okay, my next one, another one, another one. Like oh. they say, no, I'm doing TikToks like every day. <laughs> well, do you have a following? Like how many followers do you have? Oh, um, right now I think I have like, 55 I want to say like 55 I, I I started it like last week so I'm I'm, I'm getting, there. getting there you're getting there okay well if yeah, I yeah, it's, it, or you become TikTok famous I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to download it that way I can oh I'm done. that's the goal I'm trying to get there I'm trying to, I think I have like my highest views I think is like 2,000 right now so well I'm trying to get <laughs> I like I said I've done so well I just I didn't want to, I didn't want to give in, but, uh, Listen, it's going to happen. <laughs> you know, I, it's, you're hilarious. I've said this from the beginning that just your energy in general of who you are, like you, you're very on brand. You stick to who you are. And, um, I yeah. love that. But what I've noticed is your brand is kind of, um, unleash the beast. So I, I did a yeah. little digging and I see you have a website and a clothing line and um, mm -hmm. you know, right. CB3 Enterprises. What does that mean? How does that help kind of keep you on brand? Um, yeah, so the CB3, um, well, first I want to say that the CB3 is, is um, you know, Chad Brown, and then the three stands for the Trinity, um, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then also, I use the three as me, my mom, and my sister, my twin sister. So um, I, I support them. And of course, I'm uh, religious. So, you know, that's my number one thing. Um, but that's kind of how that went. Um, just wanted to, you know, give, I, I wanted to start that because I wanted to show people, you know, why I play the game. You know, like, that, you know, you always have to have a why behind what you do, mm -hmm. you know, and, that's kind of my why. One, I do it, you know, I do it for God. And secondly, I do it with my family, you know, um, particularly my mom and my twin. So um, that's that's the reason why I wanted to do it. Um, and it's, it's, it's been great. Definitely been great. A lot of people have been supporting me. Um, definitely in, in, the, in the new process of my clothing line. And it's, like I said, it's been great. You know, it's um, a lot of people asking me about it, asking me when new things are coming out. So, you know, I'm also working on that as well. Um, have my designer person uh, work on different designs. Um, so it's, like I said, it's been great. I, I've been enjoying it for sure. 
when did you decide that this is what you wanted to do? Um, I want to say after college. Yeah, once I, once I graduated college, um, I wanted to start that. I wanted to start it right away. Um, oh, because a lot of people wanted to continue to support me after college. And I was like, okay, well, like, how am I going to start representing, you know, Chad? What, what is there something that I can do to, to, to people to not only just, you know, support me through social media, but um, just being a, a, a fan as far as like wearing, you know, your own merchant, you know, and, um, you know, I, I thought about it and I was like, you know, clothing line can be great. And I can also, you know, describe and explain to people why I play the game, you know, and that's something that I'm, I'm about to put on my website as well is what does it mean? Cause that's the, that's the number one question I get from everybody. It's like, what does CB3 mean? You know? And, uh, so um, I told my, um, my mentor that we're going to work on that as well um as far as explaining what what cb3 is um but I love that. Like I said, it's perfect for you it's a great in right right yeah no exactly yeah it is and um so like i said it's been it's definitely been great um i definitely can say that it's it's fun it's fun you know the people that i work with uh with the designing um they they have have fun doing what they do. Um, I have fun doing what I do as well. Um, you know, putting it out there. You know, I have my own Instagram page on it and um, things like that. So it's definitely, it's definitely been fun. I can say that. Well, you're gonna have to let me know when you drop something new, because I'm gonna have to. Support. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to support, but. I know. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. We, we, if um, you know, depending on how long this uh, quarantine and stuff is, but you know, hopefully, hopefully soon, I'll have some um, new merch out there. <laughs> awesome. Well, I have loved talking to you today, and I'm so sad that we do it like this, um, and we couldn't finish the season together. But I know thank you so much for just kind of taking time to sit and chat with me about. Yeah, absolutely. About you. So I had a great mm -hmm. time. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I did, too. I did, too. This is great. You know, just being able to reflect on the season, you know, everything. Um, just, um, you know, I, I definitely, I, it was great. It was great. You know, and I'm, uh, I definitely, you know, thank you for giving your time to interview me and ask me about how everything um, was and, mm -hmm. you know, futures and things like that. So I really appreciate it as well. Well, thank you. Well, everyone, that is it for today. I had a blast talking to the Chad Brown. Um, make sure you go to our website and check out this video. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Yeah, it was good talking to you. <laughs> bye. All right, you too. All right, bye. <laughs>